You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Adam Zeiss. This is CES Live. As you may have noticed, I am not Callie Lewis. I'm not John P. They are off doing ninja things. I think John is still on the roof taping up cables or something. We're trying to get a 3D printed version duplicated for the next segment, but right now you're stuck with Adam and I. That's all right. I think we're pretty good stand-ins for the meantime. No, we have a lot coming your way this year. We did CES Live last year. This year we're taking it to another level. What I want you to expect from this week, Adam, we've got a ton of stuff coming up. We do have a ton of stuff. Last year was big for wearables, smartwatches in particular, and this year we have even more wearables, more connected things. So today we're going to kick things off. We're going to do a lot of wearables, a lot of wrist-worn things and body-worn things, and it's going to be an all-around good time. It's about bringing technology onto you, making it really, really super personal. So we have the chat, the chat room going. If you're in the chat room right now, don't be afraid to say hello. Tell us where you're joining us from. I see a bunch of familiar faces in there. P. Cable, Paul Dixon, how is everybody doing? Let us know. Uh, if you're not watching yet, you can go to geekbeat.tv slash live to join us. Uh, put that in the chat room just in case not everyone's on there yet. Um, so Adam, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited to be here. It's super chaotic. We've been here for, well, one, I've been here for three days. Renee sat on a plane for, I think, three two days. Of those, two <laughs> of those days. Um, but we're back. We, we're bigger and better than we were last year. We've got our stuff together. So we're You know we're what else is rock. bigger and better? Your iPhone. Sadio. Sadio, man. We've known Sadio for years. We've known Sadio since going back to the Palm days. They've always made terrific cases. They are sponsoring us this year. They're terrific. Look at this. You see this, Adam? It's blue. I like it. This is better looking than you are. I th most things are. This is a holster. You put your iPhone in it. Two parts, super easy to get in and out. Yeah, you want to go in close? Adam Absolutely. has got the close cam. Somebody, Look at that. Somebody handed me a camera. It's kind of dangerous. Sexy soft lining, soft That's touch amazing. outside. Sadio. Holster so that you can be a gunslinger. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. They've got a ton of cases. They're here. They've got a booth here. We're going to be talking to them later in the week. I want to thank them for sponsoring us because they let us do terrific stuff like this. All right, so we have our first guest coming up. Our first guest is going to show us the Miro. And it is Mio? Mio. 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 And it's Samira, right? I'm getting that name yes. right? Yes. I can barely know your name. <laughs> I had a name tag before. But All right, come on up here. Don't be afraid. Adam only looks Everyone's scary. So scared. I'm terribly scared. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Renee, nice to meet you. So we're gonna Pablo's we're gonna, gonna get plug her in. plugged in. While we're plugging in, Adam, have you seen this before? Uh, not live and in person, so I'm kind of excited. And it's I'm like gonna, telekinesis. I might I'm end up on my arm by the time we're done. I'm not sure. All right. Yeah. Don't let that out of your sight because he's been known to walk off with <laughs> <where> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've part. already had people trying to walk off with these today. <laughs> how are you doing? Uh, good. How are you? Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for having me. So for people who know nothing about it, can you tell us basically what the Mio is? Yes. So the Mio is a Mayo, gesture sorry. control. Oh, no worries. <laughs> it happens Mayo. all the time. So it's first Mayo. of all, pronounce Mayo, Mayo not Mio. <laughs> Um, second, it's a gesture control armband. So basically the, what it does is it has eight sensors inside which detects the electrical activity in your muscles. So when I make a gesture like a fist, wave to the right, wave left, it can detect those. It also has a really highly um, sensitive motion sensor. Um, so it can detect all the motions and rotations. So this allows for things like gaming, um, just playing with a whole bunch of different applications for it. So how many things are you actually reading? The position, the rotation, the... Yeah, so it's the, the acceleration, rotation, positioning, and then actually the electrical activity in my muscles. So it's, it's crazy uh, advanced It's technology. cyborg, cybernetics. Exactly, exactly. And this, the, the one that you have on right now, this is kind of like the second version, because I know in the, in the beginning there was a different one, and this is kind of the revamped final version yeah, of what exactly. you guys ended so up with. This is the version that we're shipping out to consumers okay. right now, um, to all of our pre-order customers. So we're, we're shipping as fast as we can make them, basically, but it's about half the thickness of the previous version that we had just had as our alpha unit. Nice. We, we've been told by our commander in chief, Kevin Michalek, that he pre-ordered one, and he's super excited about it. That's so he awesome. can't wait to get his hands on it. So can't he wanted, wait to send it to him. He wanted us to put in a good word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's awesome. the extent of it. So how did, the, how did this idea come up? Was, was someone just sitting there one day and just making their arm move and wishing something would happen? <laughs> um, well, it actually <laughs> came from just like our founders were actually out, uh, out for a drink and they were talking about what they wanted to do after graduation and the future of, of interacting with computers. And they were saying like, I wonder if anybody's actually used the arm as the input. Um, and I'm not sure if anybody ever done that. So they started doing some research and realized that like right now there's just this huge gap between humans and computers and their mission is to close that gap and really uh, make us 
you know, closer to computers. So we know from design that affordance is super important. Humans just know how to interact with objects, but with computers, we've always been disintermediated. We had mice and we had keyboards, yeah. and this seems like a very natural way. Like, like even a little child or someone who's never seen computers before, they know how to wave their arms, they know how to turn, they know how to move. Yeah, exactly. So we use our hands in everyday life. Like everything we do, we use our hands for, right? And we've evolved to be like that. Um, and so things like the keyboard has actually defined what a desktop computer looks like, and then touchscreen has defined what tablets and um, s smartphones are able to do. And so the thing that the Mayo allows is it allows for this new type of output. Um, things like heads-up displays, VR, getting your hands into it. The Mayo allows for those things to actually become real and become adopted. Janice Q in the chat room wants to know if it has lasers. I'm guessing <laughs> for safety reasons, no physical lasers, but you can control virtual control lasers, lasers on games. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can control virtual lasers. Um, no physical lasers right now. Uh, <laughs> but you know, Send so in your feedback, maybe they're listening. Yeah, exactly. Down the road. There, there might be a developer out there who wants to uh, create some <laughs> game application uh, and give you laser powers. So what are some of the current applications? I mean, what are some of the main things you go after when you try to market it to consumers that you can use um, it for? So some of the things, like some basic things, are just uh, pr pr delivering a presentation. So yeah. you're stepping away from it, you don't want to hold your clicker. Um, we have this great lock-unlock gesture, so you just double tap, okay. and then the Mayo reads your gestures, and then when you drop your arm, it'll stop. Um, things like controlling your music. Uh, there are actually doctors who are using this in the OR right now who are controlling the medical um, imaging in the okay. OR so they don't actually have to get their hands dirty. And then there's Armin Van Buren who just used it, which is just oh, the right. coolest I thing ever. I watched that video, that was pretty crazy. Yeah. He's controlling the lights, right? Yeah, he's controlling and the lights and stage stuff. effects live for the last six months um, right. on some of his shows in Ibiza. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I want to get, just get real for a second here. Yeah. Like, you seem to be a lot like me. I gesture a lot with my arms. Yeah. Is that going to cause havoc in the computer environment around me? No, so <laughs> the thing is we're constantly evolving the algorithms. We're constantly working on it and making it better. Um, but right now, because we have that double tap feature, you shouldn't be doing random things, like the lights aren't turning off or anything <laughs> crazy. Um, and we're just going to continue to evolve that, continue to build up the applications and sure. make it better. Um, and how does it integrate with other things? You know, like I have a huge connected home, I have a lot of cameras, I have Hue lights, I have Sonos and things like yeah. that. So is there going to be a Humble point where I can, I can throw mm -hmm. one on my arm and I can just kind of walk around my house and do these things and my lights will flicker and yeah, turn so my music on and things like that? For sure. Coming soon is our Smart Things application. Okay. Um, so through Smart Things, you can tr control things like the Sonos speakers, the Philips Hue, all that stuff. Oh, and right. so um, we're working on some of them. We have actually something put together uh, with some of the Hue lights and stuff like that. Oh, nice. um, but we're continuing to evolve that. So your smart home, smart, like everything with your smartphones, like controlling music while you run. There's the app applications are endless. Cool. As much as I love Adam, you know, <gasps> sometimes we're on conference calls and he's super <laughs> annoying. So I want to know, are there like really natural gestures? Like, can I do this to mute him? <laughs> can I do like that to just to, like just to hang up on him? Is there that kind of natural language understanding? Um, it? <laughs> not yet. Maybe someday. <laughs> we have so, a couple of people who want to uh, control their cats. And just their go kids. go like <laughs> this, and his, and, and his Google Hangout closes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> exactly. Do you have anything you can give us a little demo? Yeah, of, sure. So um, I have. Let me just open this up the here. Password. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I have cereal open up yes. here. Everybody knows what cereal is. Um, or you should, if you haven't watched it, you A should million watch it. subscribers on the podcast, yeah. Yeah, exactly, one of those. Um, so basically, this is Mayo Music. It allows you, I'm on an Android phone right now, so this is an Access, and it allows me to take control of my music or my tracks. Um, so if I'm cleaning my house, I can control the volume, I can do whatever. So I'm going to do this double tap here with this hand. Okay. And now it's unlocked, and I can go skip to the next episode. Realistically, I'm not going to skip to the next episode, probably the next <laughs> song. Um, so that's not a great idea. But um, I'm also going to grab a fist and turn to change the volume. And you can see just with my arm here, I'm actually controlling right. the volume um, on my smartphone, that's which great. is pretty awesome. And I can just drop my arm. Now it's locked, and I can keep gesturing as I would um, and double tap again to unlock. Okay, so as you're running, so like I'm out for a jog with Cindy Serial, so I would physically have to pick my arm up and do the double tap? No, you can do it right by your it? side. Okay. Yep, you can double tap by your side, go next, or okay. turn up volume, or pause, play, whatever you gotta do. And you're showing us on your phone, but the same thing works on your television, as long as you can interface with it, right? So right now it's mostly um, Macs, PCs, and phones. Um, but All of which I have connected to my TVs. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So yeah, all you yeah, need is an TV. HDMI or something smart, um, and yeah, we can you can interface with anything. Because that's really cool. Because I'm sitting there and I have, for example, I AirPlay something to my television, and then I have to go. I reach for my phone and do this whole thing. But theoretically, I'm controlling my phone. That's controlling my TV. I can just sit there exactly. on the sofa, not interrupt my popcorn picking pleasures, <laughs> and just control my television. Exactly. Set. And developers are um, making their applications available on the Mayo market right now. Uh -huh. So if you First of all, if you know a developer, they can make some <laughs> can application you for you to hook you up. Um, otherwise, our, our APIs are all available, and people can start uploading applications to the Mayo market, and then people like me, awesome. who aren't as technical and don't <laughs> write these things, uh, can go and get them. I feel like I 100% won't have to leave my couch pretty soon. I, I got the hard questions, though. 
Of well, the hard questions. One on easy battery questions. Battery life. No. Um, so the battery life is a, st it's a standard lithium ion battery, so it's about what you get from your phone. So depending on usage, it could be a day, it could be two days, depending on, on how much you use it. Um, when it's sitting on a table and not being moved, it goes to sleep, so it preserves the battery that way. But then when it's on my arm, it knows it's on my arm and it's ready to... And how do I charge it? Do I go into like a board cubicle? And <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm, well, I'll take this off now that uh, I'm done this demo, but it's just a micro USB. Nice. Yeah, so it's just underneath the logo, this LED status bar here. Um, so this thing's blue when it's connected, it's uh, green when it's fully charged, and you, do, you can plug it in and it'll turn yellow and let you know it's plugged in. Um, that's about it. And then we have these size and clips to... Uh, oh. Should be me too. I'm, I'm, I'm so bad at this. So rude. <laughs> so very rude. So um, I have smaller arms than, than the average, so um, it can actually expand to, to quit to about double its size. So you're like um, the world arm wrestling spin. champion, it'll fit yeah. on your guns. It's, it's actually funny, at Thalmic Labs we all talk about like, hey, so how big is your forearm? And it's just a common <laughs> question, like everyone knows how big your forearm is, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, but then <laughs> for people who want it really tight, you can put on these sizing clips, so each, each box ships with 10 and you use eight at a time, or up to eight, as many as you need. Um, just evenly space them out. I use about four at a time and, and get a nice snug fit on. So wearables is a lot about fashion these days too. Are you providing any different color options? Um, you're saying this isn't fashionable? I'm saying it is fashionable, <laughs> but I wonder if, if I want to coordinate with my white arm. belt, for example, yeah. or my white socks. Yeah, yeah, it's totally possible. Oh, actually, white. We have a white, a white one and a black one. So the white one's really sexy. It has white pods and then still the black flex. It looks amazing. Um, I would love and, that. And then the black one, and who knows? Future colors, always options. White glasses, white armband, white belt. I'm set. White it's iPhone. Just not white iPhone. Every day. Right no? here. Hey, right, oh, right. white. Yeah, there you right go. Right here. Yeah. Terrible. Um, and did we get the price on it? Did you tell us that? Uh, the price is $199 US. Okay. And can I dual wield them? Can I put one on each arm for like crazy yeah, for drone sure controlling and things yeah. like that? So if it's something like in VR, like we mm -hmm. have this one application. It's it, I don't know if anybody outside the office has tried it yet, so I don't <laughs> know how proven out it is, but it's an Iron Man demo. You put a oh. Mayo on each arm, you put Oculus Rift on your face, and you can like take off now. and stuff. So it's pretty awesome. We've had a couple. Stop talking, Renee. Yeah, I want out. it. I want it now. <laughs> We've had a couple of people bruise their hands because we have a gaming room which is pretty small in the, in the office, and people just like start playing around with it, and they're in their Oculus Rift, and yeah. I know she's still talking, but I'm like in a fugue state now. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Renee's playing Iron Man over and over in his head. Yeah, I saw him controlling a drone too in the video. Yeah, yeah. So um, we control the Parrot AR drone, um, and we're going to make that available pretty soon in Myo Market as well. Nice. So if you have one, you can control it. We have Spiro going, um, constantly See, this building is, out things. This is what I love about CES, because sometimes you come to CES and it's just miles of the same thing, but then sometimes you come here and you see the future, like you literally see the future in front of you. It's so awesome, isn't it? And the thing with this is like we don't even we don't even know what everybody's building out there. Like sure. there could be millions of people, well maybe not millions because we know how many, <laughs> <laughs> but thousands of people um, developing an application that we've never even heard of and we're sure. just going to see it in the Myo Market. Gordon McLeod wants awesome. to know what the availability is. Um, so right now it's available on thalmic.com only, um, so you can pre-order it there. And uh, eventually, we're actually just announcing this today for the first time, in Q1, we will be going live on Amazon. Awesome. Yeah, .com so, and, and .ca. But if I pre-order it, I'll be able to get it this year? Yes, All oh right. yeah, for sure, for sure. So we're, we're going to, Pre-orders will, will wrap up pretty soon. Cool. Um, can't tell you when, but we're shipping as fast as we can. <laughs> but they should do it now, right? If they're interested, they should do it now. You should do it now, yes. All right. Everyone should get one right now. There's no reason not to. It's awesome. All right, awesome. Um, Adam, do you know everything you could possibly want to know about this? Do you have any lingering no, questions? Well, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty more. I want to know what's your favorite activity. Iron Man things. I can um, so my favorite thing is just literally controlling music. So uh, when I was listening to Serial, the reason that I brought this here is um, actually because I was cleaning the house. Um, it was a Saturday, pretty much all day. I was just listening to Serial, and my husband kept talking to me, and I I would like look up and I'd be like. <laughs> What? And he's like, forget it. <laughs> so then I put my Mayo on, and I all of a sudden, like, every time he's talking to me, I'm like, hey, what? What's that? Okay, cool. And then yeah. I could go back to playing it. My so. wife would totally lose it because I, she would try to talk, and I'd be like doing things like this in her face, <laughs> and she'd be like, mm -mm. yeah, like, he okay. was he was not happy. He's like, I'm not going to talk to you for the rest of the day. I'm like, wait, I'll put my Mayo on, and then technology can... trumps spouses. Adam knows that well. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, Samir. Yeah, that is thanks. absolutely thank delightful. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, and that is a Mayo. I know how to spell thank it now. You. Pronounce it, everything. So make sure you check that out. Make sure you get your pre-orders in soon. Adam, I